In this lesson, I'm going to explain the Prelude, the Premiere Pro workflow. Prelude is a logging and rough cut editor. And if you're comfortable working in Premiere Pro, you may ask yourself why bother working with this sort of intermediary product that goes between the camcorder and Premiere Pro. Well, Prelude can really come in handy when you work in large projects and you've got all these video clips that have numbers for their file names and sometimes those numbers can be duplicated and who knows what those numbers mean, right? So Prelude is a great way to take all those video files or whichever ones you want to work with rename them and transfer them into the hard drive that you're going to work with inside Premiere Pro. You can also transcode clips. You can take clips that are in one format and transcode them to another. You can set in and out points in that process. So you have smaller clips that you work with inside Premiere Pro. And then inside Prelude, you can make these rough cuts. And your rough cut can give you a sense of what you might have missed or things that you need to shoot again, what have you. So you get those rough cuts done and then you can send those rough cuts to Premiere Pro where you do the final editing. So Prelude can be a really handy product, particularly with large projects. So let's start up Prelude here, and I'll make a new project. I'll call it Workflow, and I'll put it inside this folder in the desktop that I've got as my sort of scratch folder there. And I have two ways to look at video and then ingest it. Ingest is sort of a generic term that means transfer or transcode. Now you can double click here to open up that dialog box, or just click on this little button there. It opens up the ingest dialog box. Then you need to go track down your video, so I'll do that right now. It'll take me a couple seconds. I'll just sort of jump ahead here. Now that I've tracked them down, I want to select some clips that I want to transcode. I'm going to choose transcode here instead of transfer because I want to select some in and out points for some of these clips. So when you do that, you have to transcode them to just have that little portion of the clip transferred over. So I'm going to select this clip here by just clicking on that little checkbox to select it. I'm going to take the whole clip there. Go down a little bit farther here, let's say. We'll take this whole clip here. A little bit farther here. I'm going to take part of this clip. I'll select it. I can click on it to get that little current time indicator and I'll get it right about, let's say, right there for the in point I, and for the out point over here, the letter O before they pull back there. And we'll go down here and get this cake here. Click on that to select it. Same thing with the in and out point here. I've got a little tilt up here, so I want to take the second tilt. So I'll start there for the in point. And we'll do the out point after the tilt is over there, somewhere afterwards. Go for the out point. So now selected, we've got one, two, three, four clips there, it looks like. All right, so now I'm going to transcode these clips. Let's look at that process. We go to the transfer section. Transfer would just take the original clips and send them over. Transcode actually changes them. I'm going to put them on the desktop here. I'll add a subfolder. We'll call the subfolder dining. And we'll transcode it with the H.264 format. You can pick any format that the Adobe Media Encoder has in it. I'll take H.264. I've got the HD 720p preset. These are 1080p. I'm going with a smaller size to kind of make smaller files here. Scrolling down a bit farther, I want to add some metadata and file names to these. I want to change the file names from the numeric file names here to something that makes more sense. So to add metadata first, I need to add a preset. Metadata and file names work off of presets. I'm going to go down here and say, let's have a new preset. Click this little guy there, and we'll call this preset location. And we'll call this one studio as the actual metadata. Location is the tag, and studio is the actual metadata. And I need to save this as a preset, so I'm going to call this one location as a preset. Let's add a file name down here. So again, it's by a preset. So I click this thing here, and I go to new presets. We'll just set up the parameters of this preset now by clicking the plus button. We'll say custom text. To start off with, I'll call it dining. I'll add an increment to it because just calling it dining would mean that the first clip would be called dining and the rest of the clips would be called the original file name because they'd be duplicated otherwise. So I'll click on that and we'll auto increment it. Increment it instead of by only one digit, we'll do it by two in case we want to have more of these guys later. All right, now I need to save this preset, so I'll call this one the name number. We're now ready to ingest. We're now ready to transcode these clips. So I click on ingest. It'll take a couple minutes. This is going to open up the Adobe Media Encoder. The clips will show up in the Media Encoder, and then it will start immediately encoding them or transcoding them, and then placing them in that subfolder that's put on the desktop. So when this little process is done, I'll come back to you. All right, we're transcoding the last clip here. We'll get a little musical alert to this, and then we'll see it in the project panel. There we go. I'll close down the encoder. Take a look at the project panel here. Look at the names. Dining 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's take a look at the desktop for a second here. We have this subfolder here with the four dining clips named 01 through 04. All right. Everything's fine there. 
And now we're going to work with this. We're going to take a look at these clips one at a time by just double clicking on them one at a time. And I might want to make a subclip out of these guys. And the subclip doesn't really create a second clip. It just puts markers there that I can use inside Premiere Pro when I do a rough cut. So I'll say right after she points there, that'll be the beginning of the subclip. So I click on this little subclip there. I can name it, but I'll just take the default name there. That's the name of the file and the first subclip. Move into the point where the out point for the subclip is, let's say, right about there before the push. And now I'll click on out here. And that'll put the subclip right there. I can put a second one in after the push there. Make another subclip by just clicking here again. Maybe start there instead. So I'll press in there instead. A little farther like that. And I'll click out. So two subclips in this one clip here. I'll open up a second one. It's going to ask me to save this one. So I'll click on this and say, do you want to save the first one? Yes, I do. So I'm saving the information stored on that clip. That's how that works. I can go through here and make a subclip as well. All right. I'll just click on the subclip there. And after the smile there, we'll make that the out point. And we'll go on down to the next one here. And again, it's going to ask me to save this. I want to add a comment to one of these. So I'll add a comment like so. So this is a two shot here. Comment doesn't have to go for the whole clip. I can take the beginning like this and just put the comment right around here. Take the end here and move that in like so. And I can also add a sub clip at the same time. I'm not really big on showing people putting forks in their mouths, so I'm going to start right there for the sub clip. Another fork in the mouth. Well, I guess you can't avoid it. The out point there. Now I've got three sub clips, and the fourth one we'll just do that one now real briefly. This is the one with the tilt up. Let the tilt settle for a second. So we'll just have that be the end point for the subclip, and we'll go to the end of that little tilt up there. There we go. We'll have that be the out point. So now I've got these subclips, and they show up over here in the project panel. I need to save this now to get that subclip added to this clip. So I do Control or Command S to save it. If I go to Media Type, you'll see them separated out like that. Now I want to create a rough cut. File, create a rough cut. I'll ask for a name and a folder. I'll put it inside the dining folder. I'll just call this the workflow rough cut. So I need to open rough cut first by double clicking it. There's the rough cut, it's all empty now. I'll take these five subclips, drag them down to this rough cut here like that. And there they all show up. And the comment shows up here as well. I'm gonna leave them like that. I'm not gonna do any more editing. I already did that when I made the subclips. So I'm gonna save the rough cut now. So I do Control or Command S to save the rough cut. And now I'm gonna select the rough cut like this and go to File, and I have two choices now. I can send the Premiere Pro or I can export. If I export as a rough cut, it'll save all these assets together in one file folder, and I can take the whole group to another computer and work on them inside Premiere on a separate computer. But here I've got Premiere on the same computer here, so I'm gonna send this to Premiere. So I click on that. That's gonna open up Premiere. It opens up with the four clips here, and if I double click on this, it shows those five subclips here inside the sequence. I'll spread things out by pressing the backslash key there. And there is our rough cut right there using the four clips with the five subclips. And I can edit this just as I would any other project I'm using the original clips here to do the editing. And I can add titles or effects or what have you and work on the project here. So I think you can see that Prelude helps you organize your projects, gives you kind of the 10,000 foot view so you can see what clips might be missing when you make a rough cut, then lets you easily open up a project that you created in Prelude inside Premiere Pro.